Hi there folks, Scott Tumulty here, and apparently it's Thanksgiving, which I'm super excited about, despite the fact it's not really a thing over here. However, I have something to be thankful for, and it is this. It's The Crow, City of Angels. It is the latest instalment in me and my brother's tradition. Every birthday, every Christmas, we buy each other something terrible. And this is, this is no exception. It's, it's god awful. And you're probably thinking, I'm going to slag this rotten, be really snarky, make some cheap jokes. Well, you're wrong. I'm thankful for this. I am sincerely thankful that this game was made. And you might be confused, because it is awful. I mean, it looks awful. It sounds awful, and the controls are awful. But I'm thankful for it, and for that we need to analyse this game. So let's start with its origins. It's a movie tie-in, so let's look at the movie, The Crow, City of Angels. First of all... It was a studio commissioned project, so they saw The Crow 1 and they thought, hey, money! They commissioned The Crow 2, so it wasn't a labour of love like uh, James O'Barr's original comic. It was for money. Second of all, the director, Tim Pope, disowned it due to excessive studio interference. So what I'm saying is with this, this movie, no one got to live the dream. No one was really doing exactly what they want. So let's look at the game. Obviously, movie tie-in games... Not the best reputation, not the best record of being any good whatsoever, except for Alien Isolation, which I really like, never mind. The point is, you have to wonder what pressures were put on the developer. Maybe the game's publisher didn't give them enough time, not enough people, not enough resources. Maybe the studio that made the movie was putting far too much pressure on them to make a certain type of game that they thought would sell. Maybe it was given to a studio that just wasn't ready. Maybe they didn't have the experience. Maybe they put in a low bid to make it and found themselves way over their head. So really, if you think about it, despite how bad this game is, that's someone's work, that's someone's time, months, years of their lives that they've put into this. And I'm just going to be snarky about it, like all bad games are some kind of personal affront. No. At the end of the day, not a lot of people in video games get to do exactly what they imagined when they were studying. You know, they don't. A lot of people will start in smaller studios, they'll have to do work for hire. They'll have to do movie tie-ins, shovelware, games about Barbie. That's not what they dreamed of doing. Nobody got into games thinking, yes, I'm going to make an Iron Man game. No one ever got into games to do that, I assure you. So maybe they have publisher problems. Maybe they're tired. Maybe they're burnt out. Maybe they just want to pay a mortgage. So you know what? I am genuinely thankful. All you people that worked in this game, you made a game for me to play to try and enjoy. Genuinely, thank you. You gave it your best shot, I'm sure. Some of you had kids to feed. So, uh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm not actually sure how this holiday works. Like I said, it's not a thing over here, but if you want to thank me for making these videos for you, because let's face it, recently they've got pretty weird, uh, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, like, Share, subscribe, check out Mitch Hudson Geek and Sundry Vlogs, and if I'm not fired, I will see you soon. Actually, that could be a good catchphrase.